Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Adriana Bolzen and welcome to this Compassion Hop. It's a collaboration of some great creativity here from all around the world and in collaboration with Mixed Media Beyond. Thank you so much for inviting me and welcome to my creativity here today. Today I created some tags using quite a few products which I've featured down below in the description. With this world that we are living in at the moment, between COVID situation the last two years, it's been horrific in some places of the world. And with the devastation that's now happening in Europe with um, Ukraine, I wanted to create a little bit of love, a little bit of hope, and hopefully we can all live together in peace. So I created these tags to celebrate Ukraine. We love you and we are hoping that this all finishes soon. And also to give celebration to us as artists that we can do something with art that creates a bit of love and a bit of thinking of how we are thinking of the world today. So I created my tags using these jumbo playing cards. I bought these from an op shop, you know, it's a $2 shop. I think I paid about $2 for this pack of jumbo cards. They're plastic coated, which is fantastic. They're about um, three and a half by five inches in size. And I've placed a couple of pieces of um, music script here and coated the front of the card with a couple of coats of gesso. It probably didn't need the gesso, but I find the gesso works really well with mixed media, it makes the texture as well. So it just protects also the, the music paper as well. So I thought I'd use these um, jumbo cards to create some of my tags. So they're almost like the same, or oh, just a little bit bigger than an ACT kind of card. I'm using some molding paste or texture paste with a stencil and creating a bit of texture and just putting that with a spatula, letting that dry and once I've done that I'm going to colour them in with some alcohol inks. Now because Ukraine's flag is yellow and blue I've been seeing some great creativity with the Instagram followers if you visit cards for Ukraine. People have been making some wonderful cards with the colour combination of yellow and blue. So I thought I'd use the pearlized alcohol inks from Couture Creations to create that flag so it has yellow on the bottom and the blue at the top and I'm just using a dripping method of just dripping down those colors on each side of my card so I'm just grabbing the little bit of leftover color just on a piece of paper so I'm just wanting to create a bit of a dropping effect of the yellow and also the blue the alcohol inks are uh, got a pearlized sheen to it, so once they're dry, they look really beautiful. They've got a bit of a, a sheen, so they look a bit different than just your normal acrylic, not acrylic, um, alcohol inks. So now I'm doing the blue part. Now, of course, yellow and blue make green, so in between there, there is a, just a slight hint of those two colors coming together to create that green. I thought this would be great to show our love for Ukraine. To move the colour around I'm using some isopro alcohol just to give it a little bit of a liquid feel to make it look really dripping with colour. I also have all the description of other materials I've used in my video today so please down, look down below and also Please give a big like if you like this video and comment as well if you like this. Um, there's some great uh, creativity in this whole blog hop and I'm hoping you stay around for the rest of the beautiful artists that are incorporated in this um, compassion hop. Alcohol inks are a great medium to use on any surfaces, but mostly on Upo paper or any primed surface like gesso. It is a very strong pigment colour and you need to have make sure you've got your surface really primed to be able to use it. 
These cards have got a, a also a protective plastic coating, so they're ideal to use with alcohol inks. So I'm just using a brush to mould the two colours together, so create a little bit of that green in the middle. Just adding a little bit more blue and then I think I'm just going to dry this and do some stamping over the top. I'm using some stays in place alcohol inks that's perfect to use on top of non-porous surfaces like this one. It's a black little matte black ink pad and some script stamp. It's just a normal script stamp. It's from Couture Creations but you can use any script stamp. I'm just dabbing a little bit of this script stamp over my cards here. Quick and easy. So be sure to watch um, more videos on using alcohol inks on my YouTube channel but also I want you to visit the Instagram page and the hashtag is called Cards for Ukraine and see some wonderful work that other creative people have created as well. So here I've just got some corrugated hearts. I cut them out of corrugated board and I'm placing um, a coat of gesso on the top and, and the bottom of these. And then I'm adding some alcohol inks. Now I've got this red color from Couture Creations and then I've also got this really nice red fluoro. It really, really hits the spot. It's really, really bright and I think I like this because I'm going to tone it down with some other techniques with mis mixed media. So I'm just quickly drying this and setting that aside and once that's dry I'm going to use some embossing powders. And I've got a couple of colors from my stash at home and I've got a couple of um, copper ones and uh, a, ch a chunky copper, a chunky black and also a pearl garnet. And I'm just applying some embossing ink over the top of these hearts, placing a little bit of the embossing powder on top and then heat set it with a gun. Just creating a little bit of texture on the hearts and a little bit of distress I really like this effect. I'm going to be drawing this bit more often now because I really do like this. It's very rustic and very textured and I love it. So once I've done that, I've just added a little bit of the black embossing powder and this is a really quite chunky one and that's going to give it really nice texture on that once that's heat set. After I've heat set all this embossing paper with the hearts and the corrugated paper, I'm going to wrap some string around it. So I found some things in my stash and this is the one great way to use things in your stash. I've yet found this black thread and it's got a bit of a copper thread through it as well and I'm going to wrap that around the hearts because I thought that this resembles how much we love each other and also what's happening in Ukraine. We want to wrap each body in everybody in our hearts and we're all thinking of you and we just want to wrap this around to show that we are compassionate that we understand we know what's going on and we just want to help everybody I think so here I have the hearts all wrapped in string and I've got some tags here from Tim Holtz that I've got sitting in my stash I think maybe some of you might have it. some very old tags and some word sentiments so I've cut them out and I use the word hope, love and live and added a few little words and I've created the words that are fitting for this compassionate hop. So once I've done that I've just added a little bit more texture and shading with a pit pen and also with a distressed crayon around the edges. Just needed a little bit of a touch of black here and there. And then once that's finished I added a little bit of white gesso over the heart I just splattered that over the, the heart and over my tag. So this is a collect compassionate hop, a, collect, 
a collection of, co of creatives that we all hear today as a community make from all around the world celebrating compassion and difference through art. So please make sure you subscribe to every one of our us artists here and say hello, leave a comment or even give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for joining me here today and I hope you like my project. Love each other every day. Live with hope that hopefully that this will end soon and also live together because that's all we want to do. Live in peace with compassion together. So thanks for joining me here today. Please visit mixmediabeyond.com on Facebook and also please visit my blog and Instagram page. My name's Adriana Bolzen. And please visit the link below in my description to the next blog hop for this wonderful celebration of compassion blog hop. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.